His passion has turned into his profession. It's been a long road. It's up and down and it's a roller coaster every day. It's like um, cycling. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Guy East, who grew up on the north side of Indianapolis, is now one of the top cyclists in the country in the under 23 year old category. A dream he's had since childhood. He wants the bike. I had pictures of Lance Armstrong everywhere and he was just like my hero and now I'm racing for him. A member of the Trek Livestrong development team, Guy is one of just 11 riders considered the next generation of great cyclists. Seven time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong owns the team and occasionally rides with them. Just the amount of professionalism that he carries with him and that he expects from the riders and, and people on the team and it's uh it's it's unique. It's unbelievable. He's grown up a lot and through this process and it's been neat. Guy's success has been no accident. From his first race at the major Taylor Velodrome on a big wheel at age three. Good job, guy. He's had ups and downs on a steady stream of two wheelers and was pushed to the limit by his father as a 13-year-old during bike rides to Heritage Christian where he went to school. He yells out after about two or three miles, he says, Dad, slow down, this is no fun. And he had practically had tears in his eyes. That was eight years ago. He would always go so fast and I was just miserable just trying to chase after him. and. Um, now it's the other way around, but... <laughs> I think he's still rubbing it in from that first time when he was screaming. Now the fans are screaming. Guys. At races in the United States and in Europe, where bicyclists are like rock stars. You have people come up to you, like, and, and they have pictures of you, and, and you're like, what? How did you get this picture? Where did you get this? And, uh... How do you even know who I am? At just 21 years old, Guy's career has already taken him all over the world, and some might consider that accomplishment enough just to be a member of a professional racing team. But Guy wants more. Shooting for the 2012 Olympics in London, it's really difficult, but that's definitely a dream that I, that I have and would uh, really like to, to see come true. On a recent visit to Indianapolis, I took a ride with Guy at Eagle Creek Park, where he's logged thousands of miles. He gave me some cycling tips about going uphill. Just want to stay composed and let your body move the bike. And said his career choice is not always as easy as it looks. One day you could be on the top of the world and the next you're, you're experiencing some of the most difficult times you've ever had. Um, but I think that's life too. His life, he says, is about balance. Outside of cycling, he likes rock climbing, hiking, canoeing, and is an avid Colts fan. It's definitely nice to get away from your bike sometimes when you're when you're attached to it for so long. They are cheering on this man. While cheering on Lance Armstrong during the Tour de France. Yeah, I hope he wins. I hope he wins. It'd be a, it'd be a neat thing. Guy will be watching on television in Italy, where he's currently racing. His journey on two wheels, born in Indianapolis. Destination unknown. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.